see myself here. Uh, just woken up. It's just life is horrible, you know. Why doesn't it turn around? It just seems like I have issues with one thing after another with the mobile. Let's see, it's going lag, great, that's one that I need to delete. Yep, well, ah. let's get some light here. And the weather outside is just gray and rainy. Doesn't seem to do, do me any good. So, came to the homily 5 and I was thinking of reading it further um, I was doing something in regards of the uh, looking reading a little of the in regards of there's one chapter in John where the translators translate the Holy Spirit as a he nine times so look, let's try to look into a little of that. Let's see if I can find it, by the way. Just, this should be here. Um, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. John 16, 13. Might be the right place. You know, the spirit of the truth, he will guide you into all the truth, not for, not for, not for he, no, for he shall not speak from himself, but as much as whatever he should hear, he shall speak. So here we have the he again, and again, I'm not sure if, um, but at least according to this, you know, that's a he, and the things coming he shall announce to you. That one will glorify me for of mine. He, again, he, as is Lam, Lambano, or Lab, or is it like Lam, Vano, I think. Anyway, they have two different ways of translating this as, a, as one way of, in Greek, and then there's, a, a, you know, the one they use in our days. So. I'm not sure in regards to time. Must be something with the ending, it seems. Maybe. I'm not sure why it becomes he uh, in the Greek. I haven't looked at the Aramaic. I do have the Aramaic as well to look into. If the, it, it seems like they also translate as as he as well. Now it's just, you know, trying to get some... Um, it does make sense that the Holy Spirit is a he because, you know, Mary was made pregnant by the Holy Spirit, you know. So, and it also makes sense from a satanic angle that the Holy Spirit is a he and not a she. But um, just trying to get some um, more confirmation on it. You know, the Father and the Son is in the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is coming to the children of God. So they are in us by the Spirit. But some say it's just an it and, you know, but it's still a spirit. And again, we know unclean spirits, which are fallen angels, have personality. They have personality and they have intelligence and they're clever deceivers. So why shouldn't the Holy Spirit not be of the same sort of, of way? Um, so I'm just trying to, you know, get some more details, some more... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I shouldn't really be drinking coffee, but well, um, it's really hard to get you know to get started, man. You know, it's like um, heh, just don't jump out of the bed. You know, I just feel like you're more tired when you heh, when you wake up than when you actually went to sleep. That's just horrible. It's just horrible. Um, yeah what a life um again it could be worse you know <laughs> so many other places in the world that you know it's a lot worse than here in this country 
Um, here we go. On account of hit of this, I said that of mine, he takes again he, and again so it's, it's scan used he to take. Yeah, so he is taking. So again, here it refers to the Holy Spirit as a he, and he sh and shall announce to you. I do wonder what the because I know the. Was uh, the false Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe that that the Holy Spirit is a person, but a false, like the, I think the Jews also have some of the same kind of at least some of them. Um, a little while, and you, of course, I put something on my Facebook where he was actually he he looked at that for places. Um, in regards of the Holy Spirit, where he was actually, uh, let's see here, from Militan, the Bishop of San. No, 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 no. Here we go. Uh, this is from. I think it's from uh, Melito. I have the link here. Um, yeah, this is from the pa on the Passover from Melito because he kept the Passover according to the Bible. So. And and four of the times he mentions, I think it's four times, but I'm, I've, I've, I've taken two of the places. Tell me, O messenger or angel, at what were you turned away? At the sacrifice of the sheep, or the life of the Lord? At the death of the sheep, or the type of the Lord? At the blood at of the sheep, or the spirit of the Lord? Clearly you were turned away. So at the blood of the sheep or the spirit of the Lord, clearly you were turned away. So here he talks about the spirit of the Lord. Now this is singular, but uh, it's the spirit of the Lord. Of course, we have the spirit of Jesus, right? And the spirit of God. <laughs> that would be the spirit of the Holy Spirit. Oh, well, you know, the, the comfort of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of, of truth. I got, here's another place for this one who was led away as a lamb. And who was sacrificed as a sheep by himself delivered us from servitude to the world as from the land of Egypt and released us from bondage to the devil as from the hand of Pharaoh and sealed our souls by his own spirit, by his own spirit, who is the spirit we're talking about? Well, the Holy Spirit and the members of our, of our bodies by his own blood. So he seals us by the Holy Spirit, according to Melito here from the second century. So, not a direct place where he says he's an he, but in any case, you can see the you know you can see the translators here. Usually, the translators will will translate as he. Again, it would be curious to see what the false Jehovah's Witnesses does with this. Um, that would be curious. Let's see Jehovah um, and Bible. They usually have the Bible free available on the internet and the Danish version, at least probably also the English version. Uh, oh, here it talks about they have an article. Has Jehovah's Witnesses changed the Bible so it fits its 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 faith? Yeah, I think it ha they have. You know, of course they will say no, we don't have that. Okay, well, why is it that nearly all other translations don't translate it as a god but God? And you need to get go to a spiritist to get support for that translation. I think you have a problem here. Um Okay, here's, here's a guy that meets some Jehovah's Witnesses and are always getting told by them that they are the true, you know, they're the true uh, Christians. Yeah, well, they don't even believe in Jehovah, you know, regards of the Son, you know. They reject Jehovah, you know, they reject the Son as Jehovah. Yeah, so that's a big problem. Why is it, uh, why is the... Bible. Oh, they have things freely available for for one to um, download and all that. I, I'm I'm I have, I'm I'm careful about that, but um, it is nice that they have the name. But I must say, I downloaded in regards to the Psalms, and something just didn't tick with me. Um, uh, seems to be some spiritual thing going on in regards to that. But um, let's see. Uh, as you know, so 
So let's see here. I'd rather have a more neutral Bible than some some Bible that you know that they go by the um, what do you call it? You know their belief that Jesus is not God Almighty, not Jehovah. Then then I have then I then I have the name. Of course, it would just be nice with a neutral Bible that just had the name of God in it as well. That would be nice. And we only have one of those in then Danish, and that's pretty old. So that's old Danish, uh, translated by a Jew, as far as I know, that became a believer in Jesus. Which book was it? It was John. Okay, John, John, John. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh, here we have the Danish names. Doesn't make it easier. <laughs> you know, you have the. English names, the Danish names, and the Hebrew names. I just think we should go by the Hebrews. It's it's a Hebrew book, right? You know, so why not just use the Hebrew? Um, let's see um, how they translate it. Um, we go to line fifteen. Let's see. No, no, this is. Oh, this is the first chapter. Okay, where number sixteen. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is just so slow. You know, I'm pushing, waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, pushing, waiting, 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 waiting. It doesn't really go that quick. That's for sure. There we go. Uh, let's see here. And where do we have the first time? As But then again, if you take average... Now, of course, I, I don't have all the... Bible versions active that, that I have oh, but if we take like compare and see what the translation says he shall guide you into all the truth how about when he the spirit of truth you know is come he will guide you well how many times do we have in the sentence here but he come when he comes the spirit of truth he shall guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak from himself but whatever he hears he shall speak and he shall announce to you what is to come so here we have one two three four places where the holy spirit is is translated as a he and i think it's nine times total that's like a cluster of of this uh, in regards of john 16 but of course i don't have the two seconds Uh, so many lies in this world and deceptions and all that that you just get so tired of it and frustrated that people just can't stand for the truth, you know. And be honest. I was looking into in regards to you know Jesus in the book of Revelation. You know, we are told, you know, he have fire, uh, fiery eyes, white hair, and um, you know, so he looks a little different uh, in the book of Acts now that he has, at least in the vision. So that would probably not be how he looked when he walked here, but now that he, you know, it seems like you know, he changed after. So that would, anyway, we have here cluster. I see. You see the cluster down here? That's like uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you have something up here as well. That's also he. And it talks about the um, uh, whole, whole, what do you call it? The paraclete or something like that as well. So this is in. So we have a cluster of, of um, what do you call it? What's the King James Version? That's nice as well, it would be nice to have as well. Um, why did I put the King James Version? That's a good question. Oh yeah, it is here. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Um, so we can take John as well. Of course, I could just look in the mobile actually, but um, just to, sometimes it's just better to see John, 16, so I do wonder how they would translate that chapter if if they're not going to translate it as he because they they believe that the Holy Spirit is like a force. Um, 
Um, so, so that's another uh, weird thing uh, in regards to their doctrines. Um, so let's see here. Uh, where was it? Sixteen? What? Fourteen? In the King James uh, version, he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. And of course, everything that is um, is Jesus, you know, everything that is the Father's is Jesus as well. I think there's something about that. And all things that the Father hath, oh yeah, there go, hath are mine, therefore said I, that, you know, Jesus, you know, I, Jesus, that he, that's the Holy Spirit, shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is that that, that he said unto us? A little while, and ye shall not see me, and a little uh, see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me. That would probably be in regards of him being dead, three days and three nights, as far as I can see. Because then he talks about the woman, when she is in travail, had sorrow, um, because of her hour is come, but as soon as she is delivered of the child, and of course Jesus is the firstborn of the dead, so there's some link in regards to the book of Revelation, as far as I can see and understand. But anyway, we have like 16, 13. Okay, how about when the Spirit of Truth is come, He will guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak of himself but whatsoever okay he shall hmm for whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come again we have he 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 uh he again for he again he again he again it was interesting with the plural form in the english as well in regards of yeah here we go in will and our abode jesus answered and said unto him if a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will we plural we will come unto him how are the father and son coming to us by the holy spirit of course didn't jesus say he would send the holy spirit so he's coming to us by by what way by the holy spirit he is in us by the Holy Spirit. Anyway, and, and, and it continues, come unto him and make our abode with him. Our, our, that's plural again. In the Danish, we uh, only have one plural, but of course one can check in regards to the Greek and the Aramaic. See what is going on there. But anyway, uh, if you take, you know, standard translations, you you have this he 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 and him and so forward and again let's see how what the jehovah's witnesses will do to that because the jehovah's witnesses believe he is like a false to my knowledge and not um another person you know but we know that jehovah's uh, we know that the holy spirit speaks you know and witness in regards to the son so let's see what they say. Um, oh, I see here. Um, well, they actually, it actually seems like they're actually translating it as him. <laughs> so if they actually translate it as the same thing as the others, I do wonder if they, if they do that, I do wonder how they can say he's just a false. Uh, well, this is, you know, the Holy Spirit is just a false. If that is actually, uh, let's see here. Uh, this is the Danish version, so I had to translate. Um, they talk about the helper. You know, if I don't go, uh, go away, the helper will not come. They call it the helper. Different people translate, you know, we see different translations, you know, in regards of this, um, uh, this word, it seems. I think it's paracletus or something like that. Um, okay, uh, so uh, so the helper will not come, but when I go away, I will send him to you. So even the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible seem to be 
honest with the tra or at least you follow the other translations just that doctrine on the on the holy spirit as far as i know they don't believe that he is you know he, it's, it's a false they say it's not a person because they don't believe in the trinity so that's interesting of course that they would translate it as him and they go on and when he comes <laughs> this is line eight and i'm just translating from the danish uh he will uh, convince the world about sin and about justice and about um what is that called uh or maybe about sin and about righteousness and about what is that called when you uh, you know on that's a good question on on uh, con when you are judged in some sense but I think that's another word anyway first about sin and uh, because you don't believe me and uh, and the next is in regards to justice or righteousness because I go to the father and you don't see me anymore and the last one in regards of judgment, because this uh, 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 world's uh, ruler has been condemned. Well, let's see if I can find more of the Holy Spirit. That's the important thing. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Where's... Okay, I've, I'll, I'll take 12 as, as well. Uh, I have many things to say to you, but you are not uh, able to bear it yet. But when he... Actually, they have like a, um, like a star, so maybe they have something to say about. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of uh, here. He have they have a star here. They don't have the star on the other he's. I do wonder what the star is about. Um, let's see. Oh, it's just a uh, oh, it's just a, a a thing in regards of oh, this uh, is not in this manuscript. It seems uh, see here. Yeah, we have another one. Let's see. Oh, it won't, it won't pull up. It's just slow. Um, it just helps to say, well, he, uh, you know, uh, when he's talking about he, he's pointing to the helper. Okay, I, I, I did get that. Um, but again, if they don't believe he's a person, why would he, you know, why would he be translated as a he? So, you know, you would expect if they could get any around any corners here and that they at that and that they don't believe that it, that the Holy Spirit is a person um, then you would have thought they would try to not translate it as he yet we see that in that trans at least in the Danish translation I would think it would be the same in the English if if one can look that up I'm not sure if that's freely available it might actually be but uh, yeah, maybe it's on the same website actually. Uh, at least this is from the 1993. Uh, I think they, oh yeah, they have a newer a version. So maybe they changed it and who knows. <laughs> it would be interesting to, uh, it's just, you know, it's just interesting to see if they could actually, by the Greeks, you know, if they could get around the he and him. Because they would have, I've, I would think they would have done it if they could. Because again, they believe he is a false. If I remember correctly, that they believe that the Holy Spirit is a false and not a person. They believe the Trinity is false. That is a satanic uh, doctrine. Again, um, you know, it's a fallacy. Mm. And that's you know that's the thing. I'm just getting I'm um, I was getting pretty frustrated um, talking to them. Um, I probably will get frustrated again. So you know it's just I, I oh you know knowing more and more what they believe is just getting it's just and how they just defend their belief when it's not standing on the Bible and just attacking what the Bible says. That's not very. That's just. Um, that's that's just just that's just not me, you know. Uh, we go in the direction that the Bible takes us, whether we like it or not, you know. If the truth goes this way or the truth goes that way, it doesn't 
matter. The matter is which, you know, the truth, you know, in some sense. That's, uh, you know, the thing is, it doesn't matter if it goes this direction or that direction. What matters is that we go in the direction of truth, you know. You know, I don't really care which direction I go, if I go this way or that way. The question is, I care about which direction the truth goes, you know. That's, I'm not sure I'm saying this correctly, but, you know, so, again, I don't care which way I go, but I care, you know, it's, if, if it goes this way direction, okay, I'll go this direction. If the truth takes me in this direction, I'm going this direction, you know. It doesn't matter which direction it will go, but what way the truth is, you know. Um, if you can follow, you know, I care, but I don't care which direction it is as long as it's for the truth and standing for that. Um, you know, we don't have that much time on this earth anyway, so why would we stand on a lie? You know, there's no reason to stand on lies. Um, okay, so um, now I got the other version as open as well. Um, but it's very slow. It's like pushing and then waiting, 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 waiting. Um, let's see here again. Let's go to number verse seven or eight. Let's try to go down there again. It's slow. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's that new version, 2000 and what was it, 17? I think this version was. It's the same thing. It seems, at least the first couple of places here. So uh, I would think they would actually continue to do it. Um, uh, let's see, first, uh, oh, what is, how, how slow can it be, you know, <sighs> apparently very slow, that was nice with the Opera browser, uh, because it just, it was very fluently, but the design of it in regards of how it worked and all that is just not just a, you know, it's, they're trying to, all their new things and all that, just want them to work as in the old days. And this browser does work as in the old days, but it's a lot slower, sadly. Um, it doesn't keep up with the... Uh... Anyway, so, yeah, we... T where's 12? No, let's see. See, well, yeah, this is much better. Uh, I, uh, did this is, okay, if I'm not go bo uh, away, the helper will not come. But if I go Bob uh, away, I will send him to you. Or to, uh, what it would be the equivalent in English when it's plural. To thee or to thou, thou is singular, is thee or still singular? How is it to, to, uh, to do it in regards of plural in the King James? Thee, thou... The, 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 I can't remember when it's plural. There's a plural ver, uh, word for, in regards to the King James. If it's like, thou is singular, thee, send them to thee. That's, I think it's still singular, but I'm not sure. The, I have to. But anyway, that's, um, so he, I will send him to you, you know, plural, you know, you guys, you know. Uh, and and that's, that's, as I understand it, it's actually also the good thing with the King James because you have differences if it's talking to you or, or you know, singular or plural. And when he comes, he will, you know, um, uh, convince the... Uh, he will be a convincing witness. Um, okay, that's a little different. Um, but anyway... Um, that was uh, he again. Uh, let's see, verse twelve here. Well, I have much to say to you, but you are not to. Uh, you're not uh, capable of carrying it at the moment. But when he, you know, the help of the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you on unto all truth, for he will not speak of himself. But all what he hears, he will say, and he <laughs> will, uh, why do we say that, um, uh, for Kurna, uh, he will, uh, well, you know, f uh, give it to you, or in regards of the coming things, uh, something like that. It's not a bad translation uh, in regards of me, uh, you know, I'm doing it on the fly. But he will, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, um, 
yeah, I can't remember what it is in, in English, but that's he again, uh, because he uh, will take up mine and give it to you. All that the father has is mine. That is why I say that he, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, gets of mine and tells you it or something like that. You know, it's a bad, bad translation, but anyway. And so he, you know, he again, again, he, 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 he. Oh, let's. Uh, no, no. So, of course, the question is. How do they explain that the Holy Spirit is actually uh, put forth as a he, you know, uh, even it, in their own version? Again, okay, it would be interesting. If they only believe he's a false, they, they, why is he then, you know, talked about as a he? And again, if they believe he's a false, if I remember correctly, as I understand it, they they believe he, this, you know, the Holy Spirit is pretty much just a false. Now, if they only believe that he is a false, again, why would a false be used male, male, um, you know, male uh, references? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten times or something like that, maybe more. I'm, I'm maybe, you know, let's see. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times, eleven times. And even the Danish goes to talk about the um, Paracleta as the the man speaker. You know, in Danish, I'm not sure that <laughs> might be the best translation, but that's different translation of that word. It seems it used two times, and we have one more up here. So that's twelve, but it's not in the cluster. You know, these eleven are like in a cluster. You can really see. These are, so if you want to look in regards of, you know, if the Holy Spirit is a he or a she or an it or so or whatever, you know, this is the cluster to go to, I think, because you have 11 times, 11 times in John 16 that, that he is spoken as a he and even the Jehovah's Witnesses, the false Jehovah's Witnesses are translating as he seemingly in both their translations both the new translation and the older one let's see here um yeah and i i still have many things to say to you and he the spirit of truth and he will tell you the truth and he will not speak on his own initiative and he will you know tell you nay but but what did he what he hears he will say and he again you know he 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 um he again you know you have all the he's it's it seems you know he 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 now again if if the holy spirit is not a he why and they believe he's a false why is he then translated as a he in the bible version again i would think that that they would have, if they could, in regards to that translation, if they had been able to, they would have removed it. Why? Well, because they believe he's a false. Now, of course, I have a book on these cults in regards to Jehovah's Witnesses, and of course, but again, it's just give me a break. You know, these these people are just you know way off their tracks. You know. So, and of course, they don't believe that Jesus is uh, the he's God Almighty either. I believe he's like an, uh, you know, the archangel Michael that is created. And again, I'm still looking into in regards of um, of these things in regards of um, of this angel thing and all that. But um, Jesus is not a created being; he's born before creation. So, and we see that in historical sources, and we see that in the Bible. There's no question about you know it's just every you know it's you can find it you know in the before the Nicene Council you can find it in you can find it in the Bible you know and you should you, it, it, it's funny that they use the Bible it's, it's nearly like the Jews the Jews can use whole the whole life reading the Bible and yet never see that Jesus is God you know it would just flip you know they will never see what is going on even if they know things about Jesus and they're reading the scriptures were, you know, witnessing in regards of Jesus and yet, you know, 
Now, of course, in the Hebrew, the Ruach HaKodesh, that is uh, feminine, if I remember correctly, uh, the, Ruach, the word Ruach HaKodesh, but uh, even if it's a feminine word, it doesn't mean it's, of course, it doesn't mean it's feminine. Uh, at least, you know, we have from the, have from this that it's translated as he, he, he. Now, of course, we could go to the Aramaic translation as well to see what the Aramaic would say. Yeah, but whenever the spirit of truth comes, he, and he has set like a, a star on there, that usually if he has something to say about it, uh, let's see if I can go to it. Nope, won't go to it. Why the, oh, no. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, again, I have issues with the program, sadly. Um, I need to fix those so I can enjoy using this again instead of having all these issues. Here we go. The, let's see. Old Siric has the spirit of truth in the feminine gender. She shall speak. She shall hear. She shall speak. She shall reveal. Whereas the Aramaic language and Old Siric in John 15, 27 has the spirit of truth in the masculine gender. That doesn't really help us, does it? You know, Old Siric has the spirit of truth in the feminine gender. She shall speak, she shall hear, she shall speak. The question is, if the Holy Spirit is a she, how how did she make Mary pregnant? You know, um, that's... Um, so, uh, um, I have my issues with that. It would be nice to find some sources to, to see other church fathers before the Nicene Council actually refer to the Holy Spirit as a he. That's a, that's a thing to, to look into, maybe. Um, but Old Siric has the spirit of truth. And now, again, we have to be careful when in regards. But Old Siric has the spirit of truth in the feminine gender. She shall speak, she shall hear, she shall speak, she shall reveal. Whereas the Aramaic language and Old Syriac, I think it was the Gnostics that used uh, uh, the feminine thing for the Holy Spirit. But... Anyway, she shall speak, she shall reveal, whereas the Aramaic language and Old Syriac in John 15, 27 has the spirit of truth in masculine gender. So the Old Syriac actually has both masculine and, and uh, feminine uh, language. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really make it... Uh... Yeah, doesn't make it easier, right? But that's 1527, 1527. And that's the beginning, that's actually on the first page still, you know. So here in 1527, then he then it actually uses he. Why would he go in, into from he to uh, to uh, feminine? You know, why would it has a one single he yet be feminine for the rest? Maybe someone corrupted the things, you know, yeah, uh, and missed a, pa a place. Who knows? You know, this is a little weird, right? Because if you if you change it one place, why not change it all the rest of the places? You know, um, I don't know. It's just uh, the he seems to agree with the Greek at least. It would be interesting to see more translations. I do have three other translations that I can't read because it's foreign languages. It would be interesting to see how, what they have to say about it. Because, you know, translation or translations would see what that actually is, um, you know, would be a good uh, point to see what is actually there. But 1527 has it as masculine gender. So again, something something seems to be out of order here, you know, masculine gender and feminine gender. And it seems to me by the, by the pieces I have, of course, I could be wrong, you know, but at least the translations we have in regards to the Greek. And that would probably also have been coming from the the Waldensians, you know, as uh, as I read, the four Waldensian Bibles was laying at the at the table for the Protestants to use. And that's they that had the first John five seven in them. But uh, they, as it says, it's like anti-Catholic Bibles, you know, they were against the Catholics and seems to actually go, to go a long way back 
And it would be interesting to see if they actually also had he and you would expect that the translators would actually have checked that in regards of um, the Waldensians Bibles if it was actually uh, he or she. So, um, but that's interesting. Of course, it's interesting. Um, but he translated as he. So whenever the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you into the whole truth and he will not speak of his own. So that must be the thing that also in old Syriac has he. Again, we have to also remember that corruption was very early on in regards of the Gnostics and, you know, different uh, false groups out there. So who knows if they might actually have gotten a hold on a manuscript and began to change. Because, if, you know, there is this uh, songbook that's also pointing to he, uh, she instead of he. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so he will lead you into the whole truth, for he will not speak of his own will, but he shall speak whatever he shall hear, and he, he shall reveal fu the future to you. At least this author also translated as such. But apparently he he has seen that some old Syriac manuscript actually has she, you know, some of the places, apparently. Um, but still have the he one place, at least in regards of what was like, f um, yeah, it was a uh, 13, right? Wasn't that 13? It's weird. Let's see. 16, 13, yeah. The spirit of truth in the... F okay, old Syriac has the spirit of truth in the feminine gender. She shall speak, she shall hear, she shall sp uh, speak, she shall reveal. Whereas the Aramaic language and old Syriac in John 15, 27... Oh, this is 27. Has the spirit of truth in the masculine gender. Okay, so actually the place is feminine and then it goes from 1527 and it goes to masculine instead hmm. let's see 1527 um but that's still the same place where 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 where, where are we that's still the same place that i was thinking about what are we talking about 1513 15, 15, or oh, 16, or oh, 16, 13. Oh, 16, is well, it begins with all these uh, places with he. Let's see. Where it then has the feminine, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I got it right, yeah. So up here, apparently in the old Syriac, it still has the he, and then when it goes down with all this cluster, apparently it goes to the f uh, female in regards of old Syriac. But anyway, I just need to go on the toilet, you know. So I'll just pause it.
There we go. Online again, I think. Um, probably the coffee that did that. Ah, oh, that's very sad. Um, so. So at least that was interesting. So 1527 has the spirit of truth in the masculine gender. Yeah, so that's 1527. That's just before it. Yeah, that's up here on the on my book here. So that's great. I don't really need that fire. Have I turned that on? Um, so, um, and again, just wonderful, you know. You know, it's just wonderful having it um, close at hand. To. Anyway, um, so that's a he in 1527. So either if it's even if it's old Syriac, it still has the he up here, you know, up up here. But uh, that's a little hard to see. Oh, I see. Can make this greater. Of course, you can't see much, but up here, it apparently still has the masculine in the old Syriac Aramaic thing. But down here. He says it became, becomes uh, feminine uh, in the old Syriac. I'm not sure how many manuscripts there are of that and all that, but um, uh, would be. Let's see how we translate it. If he takes the, but whenever the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you into the whole truth, for he will not speak of his own, but he will speak whatever he shall hear, and he shall shall reveal the future to you, and he shall glorify my for. Glorify me, because he shall take that which is mine and shall show you. So again, he, 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 he. At least he's, he's using the translation as he. I have one more translation that would be interesting to check out if he has something on it. Two seconds. But I know that he was asked about it at some point, and he said, no, we shouldn't, you know, don't go into that subject. And I'm like, you know, that's not the way you should, you know, we should... And of course, if we can just take multiple translations that have been translated, we can see what, you know, that should, we should be able to see what the original were. Uh, but I have three translations on the mobile, but the thing is, I can't read it. Um, three translations that is very interesting to my knowledge is, um, is these, you know, see. Um, but I can't read it and I don't have any tool to actually help me on it. The first one is Gies. Gies. The thing is, Gies is has become a little like Latin in Ethiopia, as I understand it. But that seems to be the first uh, first language that, in regards to translations, and the Catholic Church only began to, you know, come into uh, you know we have a lot of history in regards to Ethiopian and the Catholics and all that trying to. They kept the Sabbath and so forward. Um, not sure if they do that anymore because of the Catholic. Um, but they still have some old manuscripts in Gies. And that would be interesting to see both in regards to some of the things in the New Testament, the Old Testament, how they have translated it, you know, what they have written down because, you know, they should have written down what was in the manuscript that they translated from. We have the Coptic, which is also interesting. And then we have Malayalam, which I'm not sure what actually came from, but that was three languages that I needed to check out something at some point if I have the ability to, to check what is in them. Um, so, and I'm not sure how long the datings, but it is something in regards to the Gies that we have some really, really old manuscripts as well. Uh, so that would be nice to check out how they would translate these things. Again, also with the he or she, or again, I would still be believe that it would be he, but, you know, you have to take things into consideration, of course. Because, but again, you know, how, how is a she going to make a she pregnant, you know? And, and it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to fit in regards to how God works, in regards of, you know, not, not a male with a male or a female with a female, but a man with a woman and so forward. That is, uh, so it would be a little weird if the <laughs> Holy Spirit would be a she, because how is she going to make Mary pregnant? You know, it has to be a he, right? Um, so, you know, that's the normal thing that, and, and God is the father of Jesus. So it's, if God is the father of Jesus and he's like male, you know, it just seems to be reasonable that we are talking about a male, uh, 
And I know Satan is trying to distort it in regards of the Kundalini stuff there. So um, it seems to point out that it is, it is absolutely is male. But um, yeah, let's see if we have anything on it in regards of. Uh, um, now this is too early. Fifteen twenty seven. But actually, this was not what we actually. Uh, we were, we were continuing in regards of Christmas storm. Uh, this was just a little uh, side step. Oh, here we have the weed twice again in the in his translation. He who loves me keeps my word, and my father will love him, and we, plural, will come to him, and we will make a dwelling with him. That seems to be the same as the other English translation I had on it, where it takes two times where it says we, where in the Danish it's just once. Maybe, but the question is, of course, what is in the Greek and the Aramaic? But if they do it twice, I would think there's a good chance that it's actually there twice. And maybe the Danish translation just um, missed that, apparently. And that's not perfect translation either. But anyway. Um, but let's see here. Where was it? We, we. Um, it's John 14, 23. Let's see what it says here. And we shall come to him and take a state uh, at him. Yeah, but it doesn't really say twice. Wouldn't it be a little more if it actually, if it says twice, wouldn't it, you know, shouldn't it be twice? I think it should be twice if it is actually in the, it's uh, 14, John 14. Let's just go back to, because this is very important, I think. This is very, very important. That he's, if he's talking plural here, it's important to have both of the times because, again, important, very important. We I've seen three places where Jesus talks about plural in regard, and there may might be more, but at least three times, he's talking about we are coming to them, and here in regards to the English that we will take a state or abode in him, and then we have that that he's talking about our, us, you know, us who is us, you know. Uh, that's another place. Where is that? Um, and of course, he who has the father has the son as well. How is that? A, you know, how is that going by here? You know, well, because of the Holy Spirit, you know. Um, let's see here. Yeah. So if they actually took that out in regards to the Danish translation, that's of course they take they took out First John five seven as well in the Danish translation. Now of course I didn't use you know I I did use this but I didn't use First John five seven uh, to actually to realize that there was uh, because it's it described in the you know in the rest of the Bible you know um, how it works. Here we go. Uh, no, this is. Yeah, but but that that what you have given me, f so they can be one like we, like we. So Jesus told like we, me and my father are one like we. So that's at least one other where we see the plural used. You know, not a kingly plural or anything like that. He's talking plural because he's talking about the father and the son. We, you know. Um, so anyway, so when the Jehovah's Witnesses or anyone else, false Jehovah's Witnesses or anyone else will say, "Oh, it a it's a majestic plural," well, try to go to Jesus and see how he is using the plural. Is that majestic? You know, do you want to say that this? You know, when he says, uh, "We will come to you and we will take a boat in you," is that a majestic plural? No, and it talks about another place where. Then the son and the father will will come. Uh, where was that? I can't remember. But there was some place where he just distinguishes these, or maybe it's uh, the letter of John. You know, the letter of John is good as well. It's very nice. Um, and he who has the son has the father as well. Well, because they have the Holy Spirit, and the and the father and the son is in the Holy Spirit. So I can't remember where that was. Uh, I think it was John, First John, some place. Well, I read that. It's just wonderful reading it, you know. It's just wonderful reading uh, and getting some more, uh, instead of all these, uh, listening to these people speaking, you know, 
no, it's not this and not that. Just read the Bible, you know. Just read it and just enjoy it, you know. Just enjoy what is true, you know. But, uh, but there was something in regards of the Father and the Son. Or maybe it starts with the Son and then the Father is in them, you know. But if we love, uh, love each other, God stays in us. Well, that's not really... Um, well, there was some place where... You know, you just collect all the puzzle pieces and you pretty much have it. Um, and John also ends up, you know, that we are in the uh, the, the true God, uh, who is the, the eternal life. And it talks about, uh, be careful of the false gods. Um, so. I can't remember where I saw the other thing. I wasn't sitting and reading some of it yesterday, um, but it just you know collect all the puzzle pieces and people saying oh well the Trinity is not in the Bible, yeah boohoo yeah boohoo because you know you have to uh, you have to go around you know corners and this and that but it is it is very interesting uh, what was it um, fourteen John fourteen twenty one. Let's try to. Uh oh, oops. Can we go back? 40, 70. Um, let's see here. That was interesting to see that the XD is. You see, he the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it has neither seen him nor known him, but you know him for he dwells with you and he is in you. Again, the plural form, of course. Apparently. Uh, well, not, well, not of course, but it's. Again, the plot. Uh, no, sorry, the the male gender that is put on the spirit of truth here in fourteen seventeen, and that's actually yep, that's before the cluster. So that's so if you just read like from chapter fourteen and forward, you get a lot of information on that. And of course, the first letter of John is I think it's the first. Yeah, that's pretty good as well. Talking about these things uh, here and there. And you just begin to collect the puzzle pieces and get them together. Um, 14, 17. Actually, here the Danish translation actually translated as that and not he. It seems 17. Um, yeah. It doesn't translate as he here in this uh, in the Danish translation. It does do it in this and also in this one in the Aramaic. Um, and we probably also have the King James version, which is based on the Greek, translating the same. Uh, Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seed him not. Here we have the the male again and him again. We have the. Um, autos, I see himself, herself, himself, itself, he, she, it, the same. There are probably some other factors that does what if it's plural or singular or whatever. Um, I heard there's some Greek, uh, what do you call it? Greek rules. Um, so, and those rules I don't know. So I can only use what I know of. Okay, the Jehovah's Witnesses have here also uh, not translated as a he. But if there's other places where they cannot go around it and actually has to translate as a he. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm right, yeah. If you love me, you will keep my commandment and I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper that will be with you forever the spirit of truth that the world cannot take um, take on themselves or something like that and it, it, it doesn't see it or knows it so it doesn't say he it says that um, and he says you know it for it stays with you and are uh, and in you but it doesn't use the masculine here uh, 
and use the masculines here in this version and another day but apparently you know uh, some of the places you cannot apparently run around the corners so again I'm not sure in regards to the Aramaic but here he is translated as he and so that's that's a little uh, Well, let's see here if we can. He is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it has neither seen him nor known him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and he is in you. So they translate it as he again in Yohanna. Yeah, so both Aramaic translations that I have agrees that it's he. The Danish translation doesn't agree apparently. Uh, here it just says th that, or, or what do you call it? You know, uh, it doesn't give him a. Uh, agenda um, so but it gives agenda in the other place so you know like 11 times plus the rest you know but 11 times in a cluster it's just he 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 and the Jehovah's Witnesses have not been able to you know translate as that as uh, as uh, non-gender so it's he uh, again so again how they run around with that in regards if they believe the Holy Spirit is only a false. Uh, that's um, so. Where was the two we? Uh, that was what. That was like twenty three. Let's see how it says. Yeshua answered and said to him, "Whoever loves me keeps my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him, and we will make our Lord chin with him." And again. Who is coming to the disciples? Well, the Holy Spirit are coming to the disciples. But Jesus is saying he is coming and the Father will, will also come, you know. Uh, and again, I think there's one place where I just say the Son and the Father, you know, coming to them. But I can't remember where it is. But again, we would be the Son and the Father. This is not a royal plural. This is just how it is. So again, when they when the false Jehovah's Witnesses say, "Oh, it's a royal plural and all that," well, well, what about this? What do you do? What are you going to? Do? Well, of course, they usually have some kind of uh, uh, satanic uh, deception with them. Uh, you know, that's what they're trained to. You know, uh, let's see here. Lodging comes from Avana, the same word used in verse two. In my father's house are many lodgings. Okay, lodging. Yeah, okay. That um, not really into. Yeshua answered and said to him, Whoever loves me keeps my word and my father will love. Okay, we can go to this one. Here we have not. Okay, let's see. Is it one way or the other way we actually read this? Na a Yeshu vema le man de rechem. Really hard to, 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 to say uh, Arabic here. Um, Le Le Melati Natak Vaavi. Oh, Vaavi. That sounds a little Hebrew. Vaavi. And my father, okay. Vaavi. Ne Nech Nechme Ve Nechme Vei. Or something like that. We will love him. Val Val Vate and to him a teen a teen will come and to him will come uh we oh here we have the we Kanan oh that's just, and then of course my program have problems very annoying you know uh let's see here where we go strong strong no 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 where is it always have a hard time finding it uh, there we go go back and with him the and lodging yeah yeah yeah, yeah. lodging coming lodging and we no okay mm. we how is welcome we Uh, I'm not sure where it got skits the we, but at least the we is once and twice according to this. Yeah, this is we as well. Kanan, we, we are, are to be. It seems like this is the 
כנען, 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 או כנען, כנען, I think. But it doesn't really have the, the nikuts for the, you know, it would have been much, so much easier with the, uh, with the Hebrew, uh, with some nikuts, like Hebrew, they, it uses Hebrew letters. You just need the nikuts so you know how to, actually this, this has the nikuts in it. So it says the in Aramaic in in Hebrew letters with Nikud. So there are some other uh, signs that I'm not entirely sure, but it should be you know one should be able to at least read a little of it if you know Hebrew. Um, so it seems like we is the Canaan. Oh, that's the Canaan. Canaan. We. So it is in the Aramaic, it seems to be twice. We can go to the Greek and see if it's twice as well. Because if it is twice, I think it should be twice in the New Testament <laughs> translation as well, because that would, of course, it would actually be nice to see 1423 to see what the Jehovah's Witnesses do with it. They also translate as we will come to him and, uh, you know, take a state in him. Uh, he who love he who, who loves me. Uh, well, there's only once in the in the Jehovah's Witnesses as well. I'm not sure if it would be weird in Danish to say it twice, but it's in it's in the it seems to be in the Aramaic, and let's see if it's in Greek twice in regards to we, because if it's in the translation twice, I think it would be in the you know it should be in, also in the English you know it should also be in the Danish I think how we how one word would translate it translate it I'm not sure. You know, in the grounds of the English, you know, uh, let's see. And my father will love him and we will come to him and we will take a dwelling in him. So, yeah. So, we, we shall come and see him. Or we shall, uh, what the, uh, take a bowl in him. That wasn't that hard, wasn't it? You know, just something like that, you know. That would be twice, like in the in the text. That, that, would, that didn't sound... Bad, like bad in uh, Danish. That sounds pretty good. Now, of course, I have to, to work a little more on it, but um, Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone loves me, uh, he will give heed to my word. Log Logan. Logan. It's like Logos, but Logan. Uh, and O Petar, O Petar, Petar, my father, uh, something. It's like uh, Moi or something like that. Aga pisei auton kai pros auton and to him we here we go we again we but it's in the in the Greek word <laughs> so again uh, my uh, my ability here is, is pretty much lost eleisomita kai Monin pa auto po po iso men or something like that, and it says we again. So it it must the we seems to be in the Greek word twice. So this is the word po i po po i o or something like that to make. But according to it seems like they they use it twice in regards to the we. So not sure why the Danish translations wouldn't, you know, uh, wouldn't use it twice because I think it's pretty important to understand that we're talking about two entities here. We're talking about the Father and the Son, not just, you know, it, it, you know, if Jesus is using it twice, I think it should be twice in the Bible again because it's, I think it's important. I think it's very really important, you know. And maybe something will tick for the person reading it when he sees it twice. Like, we will come to him. Like, we, we will come to him. And again, we will take a state in him. Yeah, we. So, both the Jehovah's Witnesses, I think, is, you know, I would, I would have it twice. In the, you know, I think it's, it's so, I think it's so important for the translation to, to, um, you know, when you have some evidence for, uh, for these things that actually do it twice, you know, that you know you can clearly you can clearly see it, and if it's in the Aramaic and the Greek as well, you know, why wouldn't why would you then only use it once, you know, 
why would you only use we once if it's twice in the Aramaic and the Greek? You know, it's, you know, maybe Jesus was actually, you know, focusing on this, you know. Um, it's It seems to be very important, I think. Um, so, and we will come to him and we'll tell we'll take a state in him yeah well again the danish translation you know misses on the we it just goes to the first we in some sense and just have one sentence instead of just you know instead of banging the extra we you know we we you know no anyway um I don't think it would be bad Danish to do, you know, uh, to, 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 to do twice, you know, uh, at all. It would be more honest to the translation, I think, uh, as far as I can see. Uh, and I and you and I and, and, no, and you and me and I and you. Yeah, how is Jesus in us? Well, by the Holy Spirit. Okay. Um... And we shall come to him and take a state in him again only once and also the only once in the Jehovah's Witnesses translation twice in the Aramaic translations and the King James so yeah I think we we missed something on on, on the translate translation there you know some some information but that's the same thing every time you translate something you will lose some information but this time you wouldn't need to you lo to lose that you know important information i think so again apparently it's it's at least three times of course we have all the puzzle pieces but uh you know uh, but but at least three places where it's like we we and us um i also interesting i think that was very interesting uh just to look into uh, the best that I can do still is, yeah, the Holy Spirit is a he, you know, it just fits with, uh, but again, I could be wrong, I've been wrong before, but again, looking at the satanic things where Satan is trying to get us to believe that the Holy Spirit is a female, and that the, that the scriptures, you know, that we have so many translations translating as a he, that Mary was made pregnant by the Holy Spirit, that makes sense if it's a he um, as well. The father is a he. The son is a he. If the if the father has both male and woman in him, he would be a male. Like males have an X and a Y. Women only have the X's, you know. So if you have male and female in you, you are a male, you know. Um, so anyway, so that makes sense. So, <laughs> oh well. Um, and of course, the father is a father. He is not a mother. He's a father. You know, he's being presented as a father, a father figure. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to watch it. Watch it. Um, Seventeen. Yeah, my brain doesn't seem to work that good. You know. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, what is the we thing? Again, 23. Uh, just checking the, the older version. And we shall come to him and take, uh, you know, I think it, I've, I, I think it's, uh, you know, the translators in Danish, you know, could have done a lot better job on that. You know, when it's twice in the Aramaic and twice in the Greek, they translate in the in the English correctly twice. T you know, two times. In regards of John 14, uh, 14, 23, I think, or was it no, no, yeah, 23. They have it twice, but the but the Danish version on and also the Jehovah's Witnesses version only have it once. I'm not sure in regards of the Jehovah's Witnesses in English, but um, they might have it differently. Uh, here we see also using the he again in regards of the Jehovah's Witnesses in regards of uh, 1425 they again have he will teach you everything you know so again they you know they might yeah, they might be able to translate some places in regards of that like in 17 um, yeah they translate it as that that place but maybe that's not that honest actually if we see that he's actually translated as a he other places 
maybe I'm thinking maybe at that place where it's that maybe it could be either because some translated seemingly as he uh, would that be from the Aramaic again that's a good, good question yeah the Aramaic says he who the world is not able to receive because it has not seen him so it continues with the he and again we could check the other version and see if it also agrees with that this is a you know there's two different people translating the Aramaic one is a Jew and one is a, just a Gentile Christian you know um, yeah he yeah, again Ruach the spirit of the truth he is whom the world not is able to receive him because neither has it seen him so again this continues with the he uh, in regards of male there is one of course there's more translation but that's one more translation in regards of aramaic that would be interesting to have a look at i sadly don't have that uh to see what she would have translated it um but it's because that's a popular version as well in regards to the aramaic translation i think she's a christian as well the Jew has some issues in regards to the Trinity. He doesn't believe the Trinity was. He doesn't believe the the first John five seven was there and so forward, um, because he believed that um, that it was created by Constantine, which of course we can see that that cannot be because we have other uh, quotations before Constantine and the Council of Nicaea in regards of that. So. Again, I've been reading about that subject. I don't think First John five seven should, should be taken out of the Bible. I don't see any reason for it either. Just because people don't like that doctrine, but they, it tends to if you take it out, it also tends to the context of the letter itself. It seems to to. Uh, but of course, again, you go to the Jehovah's Witness, and they will say, "Oh, yeah, it fits perfectly without it." <laughs> well, it doesn't fit with the Greek grammar, you know. <laughs> and um, so you have a problem there again maybe someone took it out so the grammar in greek doesn't fit anymore anyway something to check out as well the more i learn and all that so i can but i, I don't have any uh i don't have a reason not to trust those sources saying that so uh um i have multiple sources talking about well the greek grammar doesn't and also historical sources uh saying that there's a problem with the grammar uh here so i don't have a I don't have a reason not to trust what they are saying. I just, you know, we know the agenda of Satan to, to distort the scriptures. And if they had access to four Waldensian Bibles, you know, the received, you know, they, they, you know, the Waldensians, you know, they, yeah. It gets some validity, validi what do you call it, you know, validity or what do you call it to it. You know, they, they have stood against, you know, this whole system for so long and all that. Um, oh yeah, it talked about that they actually got their Bible version from uh, Antioch in 120 AD. So that would still be close to the source. And if they continue to have the first John 5, 7, you know, then it might have been there all along. But again, why people don't like it is because Satan tries to sort everything and pollute everything in this world and this might be one of the verses that really pokes his eye but in any case you know even even if you take that verse out you can still find the teachings of the trinity in the bible you know you might not find the word trinity in the bible but you know in regards to the father the son and the holy spirit you just go look in the in the last part of matthew that's not disputed in any way as far as i knew what do you have go out and baptize in the name of what the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But what name does they do they go out and baptize in? Well, they go out and baptize in the name of Yeshua. So, you see, so it's not it's just not one place. It's just many places where you can actually drag from, and, and it's just I think it's dishonest when people just say no this and no that and just reject it and so forth. There, that this they're dishonest with the text. Uh, totally this you know one thing is to sit with some person and all that and and he's studying the things and all that you know that's the best thing to do for studying yourself but when you begin to just be totally dishonest with with what is is promoted i'm just you know what can you do you know 
when you uh, when you have so many witnesses that says that Jesus is God, <laughs> clearly saying Jesus is God, and yet you have people rejecting that. That's just total dishonesty. If you can't even see that they are saying Jesus is God, now you may not agree with it, but if you cannot even see that they are saying Jesus is God, you know, which you know, it could they couldn't make it more clear. You know, they could, in some of the places they could just they just couldn't make it more clear that Jesus is God. You know. Not only do they use the word God, you know, so one thing is, you know, the false Jehovah's Witnesses will understand that different, differently because, you know, they have that version in regards of a God and not the God. And again, it breaks scripture, of course. But anyway, um, so, but then you, you see, well, you know, in regards of him who made the universe and hanged the earth or nothing and all that was hanged on the tree, you know. How can you go wrong with that? How can you say, no, that's not what it says? How can you be so dishonest to say, no, that's not what it says? You know, up in my face, you know. Just, no, that's one, you know, just, well, maybe not in the face, like over the mobile, but uh, at least at, at that point. But it's just... I, I just find it so so. Uh, I, I I can't I can't just I can't wrap my mind about it. How you, how people can say no? That's not what it says. You know no, it's just not what it says. You know <laughs> why they say it? Why because it doesn't fit their their doctrine. They can't accept apparently that the first Christians and so many sources says that Jesus is God. You know. Just accept it and say, well, they were wrong. You know, just to, just read it and accept what they say. And if you don't agree with them, well, okay, that's one thing. One thing is to to, to at least you're then honest with the text or, and the document and the documents. You know, but to say it's no, that's not what it says. You know, that's again. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> I want to read it again. You know, just oh well. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, I'm not sure where I put it this time. Uh, yeah. And again, there's 46, 46 places from before Ni the Nicene Council. And again, there's many other places where you can read that Jesus is God. It's all over, all over history. But anyway, let's try again, you know, and see if you can get this wrong, you know. This is from Melito of Sardis, so that would be Asia Minor in the Church of Sardis. That's one of the churches that Jesus is is uh, making uh, John write to, Apostle John. He that hung up the earth in space was himself hanged up. Who was hanged up? That was Jesus. So Jesus was the one who had that hanged the earth on, uh, you know, in space. Apparently they knew that the earth was hanging in space at that point. But anyway. He that fixed the heavens was fixed with nails. Who was fixed with nails? <laughs> Who fixed the heavens? He that bore up the earth was born on, on a tree. You know, he, 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 the Lord of all was subject, subjected to ignominy in the naked body. And then it says, God put to death. So it says, dot, 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 and goes on. In order that he might not be seen, the luminaries turned away and the day became dark, darkened because they slew God who hung naked on the tree. Now, the thing is, the false Jehovah's Witnesses, when they see God, they will reject that, you know. Oh yeah, because they, they, they didn't get into another understanding then. Um, you know, they have this weird doctrine, you know, Jesus being a God and not the God. But you cannot take all the rest of it, you know. <laughs> you know, one, you know, if okay then you can you know make an excuse for that you know like so many excuses that i've heard over the over the time that i've con had contact with them there's just one excuse after another again but anyway so because so and the day became darkened because they slew god so let's say okay well they can reject that because they have their man-made uh or what do you call it um they have their training what do you call it brainwash uh but anyway, who hung naked on the tree, dot, 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 dot. Okay, so it comes. This is he who made the heaven and the earth, and in the beginning, together with the Father, fashioned man. So who was, you know, who was with the Father in the beginning, fashioned man? Jesus, of course. 
who was announced by means of the law and the prophets, yeah, that would be Jesus, who put on the bodily form in the virgin, yeah, who was hanged upon the tree, who was buried in the earth, who rose from the dead, and ascended to the height of heaven, and seated on the right hand of the Father. You know, um, I think it's I think it's pretty clear that you know if you if you're not dishonest and trying to uh, we're talking about Jesus, you know. Um, yeah, we have another one. P -p Permit me first to recount the prophecies which which I wish to do in order to prove that Christ is called both God and the Lord of Hosts. So the Lord of Hosts would also be the Lord of the Israelites, I think, in regards. But anyway. Uh, Therefore, these words testify explicitly that he, Jesus, is witnessed by to by a uh, witness to by him, the Father, who established these things. You know, and that would also be through the Holy Spirit in regards to the prophets. Establish these things as deserving to be worshipped as God and as Christ. And again, the Jehovah's Witnesses, when you read the scriptures and see that they're worshiping uh, Jesus, and you say, "So, well, they worship?" No, no, they didn't worship. There's like a uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, they take what is just plain at the, in front of their nose and just distort it, and it's just um, he received. Te here's another. He received testimony from all that he was very man and that he was very God, from the Father, from from the Spirit, from angels, from the creation itself, from men, from apostate spirits and demons, and also why did the Jews want to stone Jesus? It's, they understood what he was saying, and again, the false Jehovah's Witnesses will deny that, will do anything to deny that. Again, I'm getting, I'm just getting frustrated. I'm getting very frustrated. I'm, I, I don't think it's healthy for me to have contact with them at all, because, you know, just puking all over the pearls that I put forward and handing them back to me with all that slime and disgusting, uh, anyway, it's just, Here we have, um, for it was, this is Clement of Alexandria, for it was not without divine care that so great a work was accomplished in so brief a time by the Lord, who though despised as to appearance, was in re reality adored, the expediator of sin, the savior, the Clement, I'm not sure what that is, the, the divine word, the divine word, why is he divine? That's in regards of being divine, that's being God. Anyway, the divine word, he that is truly most manifest, deity. How can you how can you explain these things, you know? You know, he that is made equal to the Lord of the universe, because he was his son, and the word was in God. And people, well, well, Jesus worships God. How can he be God if he worships God? Well, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Again, if you want to explain everything off, you know, just I just think it's so dishonesty. <laughs> Here we have uh, this is Tertullian. This is a uh, you know all of these sources is before the Nicene Council. You know, nah, but the Nicene Council made Jesus into God. They say, well. No, they, you know, when people say that, it's just so dishonest. Tertullian, AD 150 to 225. So this is Tertullian around the second century. As if in this way also one were not all, in that all are one by unity that is of substance, while the mystery of the dispensation is still guarded which distributes the unity into a trinity. <laughs> Placing in their order the three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> this is just way before. And think about how much we actually have lost. We still have like, what was it, like 36 books or something, or 38 books of, of, of documents from before the Nicene Council. And we still have things that is not translated into English. And then we have all the things that didn't come into these 36 or 38 big books. Uh, I'm not sure how much that is, it is in total, but... You know, a huge amount. You know, you could, you know, it's a huge amount. Is that, you know, to read all those things? You know, just reading some of it is just it takes. Now, in regards to John Christenstam, that we actually I needed to read. Um, just reading these pages, it takes time. You know, um, so think about 
huge amount of books you have a lot of things to to read and see what they believe you know they might have some issues here and there absolutely you know we we know that began from the as i see it from the very beginning you know but you still have things you know they have things here and there and all that and again you know christenstam seems to also come with some some small nuggets here and there where i'm like okay that's you know, uh, for example, in regards to the family thing, where he explains it a little more in regards to what happened or what is happening, where he explains Jesus' words on that, that seems pretty legit. In way, what do you call it? Pretty good. And that doesn't, that doesn't seem like it's it's bad, but there's a lot of weird things as well in this guy, that's for sure. Anyway, um, so he talks about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three, however, not in condition, but in degree, but in not in substance, but in form, uh, not in power, but in ex expect, yet of one substance, and of one condition, and of one power, inasmuch as he is one God, from whom these decrees and forms and aspects are reckoned under the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost, as it's translated here. Well, we have three gods, but they are one God. Um, yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's just, it's not only dishonest to say, you know, that this is not what it says, that they didn't, but, you know, they, they don't say that Jesus is God and all that, and, you know, God Almighty. Another thing is also to falsely accuse me of, um, of having, a, you know, having a, you know, another of <laughs> view on the, on the on the trinity you know uh because you know there might be some issues here and there but i think we are pretty much on the same page for most of it in regards of the of how it works you know so i think it's just dishonest for again you just see dishonest it's just that all all is just hugely dishonest you know of course i know we should forgive forgive i know we should forgive i just get some i get i get frustrated you know I just get a little frustrated when people are like totally dishonest, you know. Um, I know we should forgive. We should forgive because we have been forgiven by by God and so forward. I know, I know. It's just, uh, but it, but it seems like we are also told to be aware of the devil roaming around trying to take what we have. So we also need to defend ourselves to not lose the faith that has been that is just worth more than gold and silver. So, and when, they, when these false Jehovah's Witnesses are coming to try to take your faith, they are not doing the work of God, they are doing the work of, de of Satan, you know, the devil. I just, there's something, you know, something is totally wrong if they can't stand on truth, you know, and just tries to take the faith in Jesus Christ as God Almighty, Jehovah, from you. And that's what they're trying. They're trying to take it from you. They're trying to distort everything and take the faith in Jesus Christ as God Almighty from you, so now, so it is, it's, and 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 who knows how 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 many they actually succeed to do this with? That doesn't you know uh, that that is not uh, what do you call it standard you know that that may be more uh, uh, what do you call it uh, more uh, easier to manip manipulate you know I'm not. I'm not that easy to manipulate, I think. I, I think I'm, you know, I have here so many things, so many, you know, from everyone and all that. I'm not just going by what people say, that's for sure, you know. I'm doing, I'm, I'm reading, studying these things. I don't want to be let, I uh, know Satan is a master deceiver. He's a crafty one from my days in the occult. I'm just going by to go by something because people say, you know, it's just... I'm on my toes. Let's. Uh, I don't want to be led into falsehood. Uh, and uh, you know, we have to take things seriously. Um, so yeah, but I, I don't. I don't really. You know. Yeah, we should love our enemies and all that. Absolutely. But uh, we should also take care that we don't lose what we have been. You know, John is also warning us about that. I think Peter as well is warning us about Satan is out there going around as a lion trying to devour whoever he can you know you know you get a lot of attacks uh, from everywhere to try to to make you lose faith you really have to to stand close to Jesus you know you have to stand close to the truth and grow in the truth because when you know the truth Satan has a very hard time to uh, 
you know he can come with all these deceptions and try to make you doubt and all that but um, you know you have some 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 you have a stone to stand on and and uh, solid solid rock to stand on and not be taking a part in some sense so, mm. so anyway so the false Jehovah's Witnesses seems more like to be uh, you know doing the will of their father which would be the devil Satan uh, because it's just so, so dishonest you know um, I think it's I have the book I have the book from this guy that probably worked also for the Catholics so one have to be careful um, but again it doesn't mean that he doesn't have some good stuff on it but it's the kingdom of the cults from Walter Martin but I think Walter Martin sadly you know was sadly was working for for uh, the hall um, so that's really sad and he had he made one book against the catholic and then apparently it was you know hidden away and all that but we have it you can find it on the internet it's out there one of the christians put it out there for free and all that and read it aloud very wonderful i should probably download it and see if i can find it again uh, but he had he made a like a little book on the catholic church as well where he uh, but it's you know they're lying about but anyway, so this is the book of the cults, and one cult it doesn't have anything about, that is, what? Romanism, the worst cult in the world, you know? So it has about Jehovah's Witnesses, Christian Science, Church of Jesus Christ, all of later day saints, and it has a lot of information about all these things. And you can of course use your whole life studying these things, the Baha'i faith, Unitarian Universalism, Scientology, the Unification Church, and Eastern religion, and the New Age cult, and Islam, the message of Muhammad, the cults on the world mission field, the Jesus of the cults, cult in evang evangelism, mission field on your store state, the road to recovery. Uh, he has some appendices in regards of the puzzle of the Seventh Day Adventists. He has had some problems with the Seventh Day Adventists. Um, but again, I think they are a little, um, yeah, they have their issues for sure as well. But anyway, 49. So 49 in this book is in regards of Jehovah's Witnesses, if one wants to, to learn. But again, you can use your whole life on this. And the thing is, it doesn't really matter. You, the, ma the thing that matters is the truth, and you just need to stand on the truth. All these false religion, you know, all these false religions, and all. But of course, I, I guess, you know, instead of just, a you know, the thing is, if you ask people, you know, you usually end up getting, you know, they might not actually answer truthfully and hide things away from you in regards to what they believe and so forward. And uh, I don't, I don't think that's, uh, you know, uh, 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 standing on truth. But anyway. So here it talks about C.T. Russell was born February the 16th, 1852, the son of Joseph L. and Anna Elisa and so forth. It talks a little about how the organization uh, comes around and uh, how many, how many, um, yeah, a brief history of it. So of course, if, if one doesn't want to ask them here and there what they actually, you know, and, and get around in a boat or something like that, you can just, uh, you know, um, um, here in regards of Russell, in regards of his translation, as far as I understand it, the cross examination of Russell continued for five hours. Here's an example of how the so called pastor answered. The following reproduction of Russell versus Ross transcript relative to the per perjury charts made against Russell is taken from a copy on file in the headquarters of the cult in Brooklyn and is presented in, in the interest of. Th thorough investigation so anyway here's the question attorney Stoughton do you know the Greek alphabet Russell oh yes Stoughton can you tell me the correct letters letters if you see them Russell some of them I might make a mistake on some of them okay uh, but I think it's in regards of him actually translating the New Testament from the Greek uh, and uh, saying that uh, you know anyway Stoughton would you tell me the names of those on top of the page page 447 I have got here Russell well I don't know what I would be able to Stoughton you can't tell what those letters are look at them and see if you know Russell my way he was interrupted at this point and not allowed to explain 
Stauson, are you famili familiar with the Greek language? Russell, no. So, um, so it, goes, it should be noted from this record of, of the testimony that Russell frequently contradicted himself, claiming first to know the Greek alphabet, then claiming under pressure that he might make mistakes in identifying the letters, and then finally admitting that he couldn't read the alphabet at all when confronted with a copy of it. I am just so. So, um, translating his book might be some issues in regards to this. Uh, so, but anyway, he goes into reasons, history, uh, uh, structural authority, uh, a lot of things here um, in regards to so, the deity of Jesus. Let's see here. Um, We have the teachings of Charles Taze Russell, or Russellism, as he calls it. And he talks about uh, the triune Godhead in regards to Russell's views. This view, the Trinity suited well the Dark Ages, it helped to, re it helped to reduce. Okay. This is in regards to the doctrine of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Does this, John 1.1, 1, 1, mean uh, that Jehovah God, Elohim, that the Son are two persons, but at the same time one God, and members of the so-called Trinity, a triune God. When re religion so teaches it violates the word of God, rests the scriptures to the destruction of those who are mislead, and insult God-given intelligence and reason. This is from the truth shall make you free. Well, um, I can only say what the Bible says instead of all these things, you know. The Bible says that Jesus is God, and he's, uh, you know, with God, who is the Father. So we have God and God, just two. We have Elohim in the Hebrew is the plural form. Again, they will try to make many excuses. But, you know, if you just go by the Bible, I think you will come to the same conclusions. You should come to the same conclusions if you just read the Bible. And so has many in the past come to the same conclusions. And again, these people out there are just very dishonest. Um, so and of course you have to study the Bible for yourself to find out who is actually standing on truth and who is standing on the deceptions and lies you know because the more you know your Bible the more things you know what is true and all that it's easier you know that's that's also the thing a lot of these shepherds that stands on the podiums and speaking and all that they should you know they're trained they are educated, right? Why do they teach falsehood if they are educated? You know, why can't they stand on the Bible if they actually? So, and here, here we have some more on the. Uh, in regards to the Trinity. Um, uh, he says, uh, "No, never in Scripture is this explained the Trinity." Uh, here we see a gro gro gross inconsistency of what Watchtower reliance upon reason and their rejection of the Trinity when compared to the acceptance of the miracles of Jesus. One wonders what they consider reasonable if they can believe that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, changed water into wine, and feed 5,000 with only two fish and five loaves without a reasonable explanation as to how he did this should the, the how of the Trinity be a more difficult in, in reasonable, reasonableness? Surely the former is every much as mystery as the later. Anyway, it goes, the thing is, you know, why did the Jews execute Jesus? You know, they executed because he made himself equal to God. Because he was God. Anyway, so... Of course, so instead of, of asking Jehovah's Witnesses this and that and all that, that they may not actually answer truthfully and all that, one can, of course, just read uh, read someone that have done the research. But again, you can do from now on to until you die on research on cults, on the occult, on cults, and all these things. And... The thing is, is it really worth it? You know, we don't have that much time. You know, of course, it's nice to know, uh, you know, to defend yourself. But again, if you know the Bible, you know, you, and know what is in the Bible, then it's, you know, when someone comes along with a false doctrine, you should be able to dispel this, that as false, you know, shouldn't you? <laughs> it's, uh, I think, if you know the word of God, 
that's how that's how we pretty much uh, um, you know can can get Satan away. Now, of course, again, I would still be careful of Paulus, but overall, you know, that's that's the thing that's you know Satan doesn't want us to, to read the Word of God. So again, yeah, you can you know see see how big this book is, you know, and this doesn't even have in regards to the Catholic Church. Um, so it's a huge book, but a lot of information. And again, um, yeah, on Buddhism and Baha'i faith and Mormonism and all that, you know. Uh, but of course, in regards to the Mormons, you know, I talk with the Mormons around the years and things like that, maybe more, but uh, you know, once a week, and it's you know, they you know they're not gi giving you the they're just giving you the surface thing. They don't want really want to give you the and that's dishonest. I think just, you know, serving something, but not really, uh, yeah. And of course, they want you to read the Book of Mormon instead of actually the Bible. Don't give me that. If you're a Christian, you should read the Bible, not everything else, you know. You know, Satan just wants to, you know, to be led astray and all that. Just read the Bible. Read the Bible, you know. And of course, you can also read some history, study some history and all that, and in regards to prophecies and so forward. Uh, still have some problem in Daniel, what is going on with that, um, with things when the, when this man stands, Gabriel is standing in front of him and what is going on with that. And Daniel is, a, uh, uh, what do you call it, not Daniel, uh, Michael is helping, helping Gabriel and I, I still, uh, I still have, what is going on when they are there? It's just um, and how he's talking. I'm just I'm having some difficulties with with. Anyway, maybe I'll learn as time goes. Let's go to John Christenstorm again, right? Uh, against the Jews. Okay, let's see. We came to and the one which said, "I shall lead forth against you a shameless nation." So we are in homily five. So that's only only three homilies yet to read and again you know I must say I feel like to throw it off but anyway just um, let's just continue um, this is the very thing which Daniel was hinting at when he said that came upon us evil such as never occurred under the heaven according to what happened in Israel what evils are these mothers ate their own children Moses foretold this but Jeremiah shows that it came true for Moses said the refined and delicate woman so delicate and refined that she would not venture to put her foot upon the step shall put her hand to the unholy table and eat her own children but Jeremiah shows that this came true when he said the hands of compassionate women boiled their own children. Oh, that's just uh, hot stuff, you know, in regards of boiling your own children to get food. Uh, it's just, ooh, you know, how could anyone do that? That's really... Um, but even after he had spoken of the sills of those who had sinned and after he brought into the open the punishment they endured, he did not ask that this should save them. See then the prudence of the servant. For after he had made clear that they had not yet paid the penitentiary that their sins deserved, nor had their suffering discharged the death for their offenses, he then fled to the mercy of God and the loving kindness of his way and says, and now, O Lord, our God, who lead your people out of the land of Egypt and made a name for yourself, a name for yourself, even to this day, we have sinned and acted against your law. What he is saying, you did not save the Jews of old for their good actions, but because you saw their affliction and distress, because you heard their cry, in the same way free us from our present evils, because your loving kindness, and because of that alone, we have no other claim to salvation. And by the way, in regards of Israel, when God gave the Israelites the land of Israel, or the land of Canaan, he says to them, and don't think you get this land because of your righteousness, you know. Um, he was using them to get the, the uh, of course he had, you know, they had the, what do you call it, the um, uh, promise as well. And besides the promise, you know, these uh, uh, these uh, nations was t 
totally sinful, you know. So God used the Israelites to drive them out, you know, because of their sins. So he spoke, and after many a lament, he brought forward the city of Jerusalem like a captive woman, and said, Let your face shine upon your sanctuary. Uh, give ear, O my God, and listen, uh, open your eyes and see our ruins and the ruins of your city in which your name is invoked. For when he looked among the men and saw no man who could make God propitious, hmm, he turned to the buildings and brought tip the city. He showed its desolation, and after he complete, completed his discourse on these things, he made propitious, and this became clear from the events which followed. But back to what I was talking about, for I must return to the topic I proposed. Yet I had good reason for bringing in these discretions. I waited to give your minds a brief breathing space, since they were growing very from the constant, constant conflict with the Jews. Apparently they have conflict with the Jews. But let me return to the point where I departed from my topic to speak of these matters. Let me prove that the evils which were going to overtake the Jews have been accurately predicted by God's inspiration. My discourse has already shown that these two captivities came upon the Jews, neither by chance nor unexpectedly. No, that because God, you know, they didn't do what God wanted them to do, and thereby he punished them. It remains for me now to bring up the third captivity. After I've done that, I must speak about the bondage which now encompasses them. I must give clear proof that no prophet ever predicted that they should, they would be any, that there would be any freedom and escape from the from the ills which now encircles them. Mm, well, not so sure about that. I can't remember where it is, but it talks about you know taking the Jews back from all the nations in the world, and what do we see nowadays? You know, whatever we you know we see, uh, you know, the Jews getting back from all the nations in the world. You know, from you know so many nations. So I can't remember what what prophecy that is, where it is found, but uh, it is some place. Let's see. Uh, Prophecy, prophecy, old so-called Old Testament, uh, Jews getting back to Israel. Israel it should be which prophet is it? Let's see if we can find it. Gathering of Israel. Do you no no no? There's one of the prophets talking about it. I have I can't remember who it is. If I can't find it, uh, is it Ezekiel or Isaiah or something like talk talking about? You know, I, I know I've read it. Uh, I know it's someplace in the Bible um, where it talks about the, the, the Jews or the Israelites uh, returning. It's not in the Torah. They're pointing to the Torah all the time here, Deuteronomy, it seems. Maybe it's the Ezekiel dry bones prophecy about Israel coming back to life. Maybe. At least there's one place where it talks about them coming, coming, coming back. Uh, from all over the nations. Anyway, somewhere in the Bible, read the Bible for yourself, you know, and you'll find it <laughs> when you find it. <laughs> yeah. It, um, so, would be any freedom escape from the ills which now encircles them? What then is the third captivity? It is a bondage that came upon them in a day of Antiochus Epiph Epiphanes. Hmm. Antiochus Epiphanes. Wasn't that the guy that also put the abominations. Oh yeah, the Daniel is talking about the abomination. Then we also see the Greek putting this abomination as well. You go to the Maga, the books of Maccabees, I think, talks about this, where he puts this um, statue or idol, you know, in the temple. And in a, according to the book of um, Daniel, it is like the abomin. What is it called? Abomination. Uh, where is it? Uh, I think Daniel talks about at least three times this thing that is going to be set in the temple. The thing is, if that is going to also occur in the future, uh, because we get all these these uh, ways of God showing us things in the past to also find out what is going on in the future and all that to to get a you know to collect the puzzles and all that um, to use history as well, prophecy and history in the. Um, let's see where it is. 
591. 591. And 591. Yeah, that's Daniel. I know I have it some place here where we. Daniel has talking about it. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if I have. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of things that I have. Uh, I should have fixed it someplace. Hmm. I think it's like three times that this uh, abomination that lays waste. This is one of the places. This is uh, Daniel eleven thirty one, and play uh, and strong ones shall arise from him and profound the Mikdash, uh, the stronghold, and shall take away the. Uh, that which is continual and I think in regards to what is continuous in regards of sacrifices uh, in the temple so he takes that away and place the abomination that lays waste and there's two other places at least in Daniel where it talks about this abomination that lays waste and I think Jesus is talking about as well the question is if this is actually uh, if there's actually something in the future in regards to this, and I think there might actually be, I don't, I don't think in regards to the seventy, because in regards to because this is destroyed the temple, so I'm not sure that the Romans ever put an idol in the in the close to the seventy A.D. I, I might be wrong. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe they did. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, that could of course have had triggered the Jews to, uh, but. There might be other reasons for that, but I don't remember they did it, but maybe I'm wrong. I know the Greeks did, did a lot of it in regards of idols all over Jerusalem and, and also one in the temple, as far as I understand from the book of Maccabees that has history on that. Anyway, here we have, here we have another pl uh, place in Daniel, uh, the last chapter, that would be chapter 12, uh, 11, and from the time that which continual that would be the sacrifices, as far as I understand it, is taken away, and the abomination that lays waste is placed, is 1,290 days. Now, of course, people make these into years and all that. I'm not so sure these are years. Uh, they, these may actually just be days. We have the book of Revelation. We also have some days, which seems to be something of, of a little of the same. Um... But we have 1290 and 1335 days. You know, uh, Baruch is he who, or blessed is he who is waiting earnestly and comes to the 1335 days. So, but he's talking about closing up the, the things and all that for a later time in the future. Um, he also talks about, but anyway, we have one more at least. In regards to this abomination that lays waste, and we know Jesus is talking about it. When you hear about this abomination that Daniel has spoken about, flee out into the mountains. I think there was something about that. And we know there are some prophecies in the mountain of Olives splitting, and maybe they are allowed to flee in that direction. I'm not sure. Um, but at least we know there's a lot of things to go on in the future. Um, yeah, we have the creed is put out on the one who lays waste. The question is, no, that's not. Of course, when that would be Rome. The Roman Caesar is going to be destroyed by Jesus. And if you can find out who the Roman Caesar is in the world, you'll find the Antichrist, the one who represents the beast. So to just look after him and you should find the Antichrist, the biblical, historical, uh, prophetic Antichrist, you know. Who, who's the fourth beast? That's Rome, isn't it? And the little horn is the one that persecutes the saints. Now, I, I don't seem to be able to find uh, the other place, but at least I know there's one more place in the book of Daniel talking about this abomination that lays, way, that's the way it lays waste. And apparently the continual is taken away. Now, if this is about the future, the Jews have to resume their sacrifices for it to actually be taken away again, right? If this is in the future. And I think there might be something in, in regards to that. So, the, so, so we'll, you know, 
then someone will come and take the continual away from them again and put up this idol, this abomination in the temple. Uh, maybe. That's the, the best that I can do at the moment. I still need a lot of studies, research and all that. That's a lot of things I still don't know. So again, read the scriptures, read the Bible, get understanding, more understanding. Um, sadly, I cannot find the the other place that I, I I should have marked it out someplace. I marked the other places out um, and if I remember correctly I marked all the places um, but the thing is it's, it's a little hard to you know when you have like you know it's just marked all over you know? <laughs> it just didn't really it doesn't really help you to actually find out where it is but I did really make a great mark, one of the places and the other places as well, with like a huge amount of, of uh, so I sh the, uh, the third place should be the same. Nope. Nope, no, 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 nope, should be. But let me declare to you what is written in the scripture of truth. And there is no one supporting me against these except Michael, your head. And that would be the... Uh, I think Michael is also talked as uh, as the um, archangel. Uh, but he is one of the chief heads. But of course he would be one of the chief heads. You know, he's the head of, of Israel. And then there's seemingly other chief heads that we see these in the spiritual world you know see the um, the head of you know these 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 two are battling uh, uh, we see Michael and and Gabriel is battling the the prince of of uh, of Paris or something like that and then of course the Greek is coming that he's going to battle and so forward yeah, and in the first year of Dariyavis, the Medite, uh, I myself stood up to support and protect him. So this is talking, I think it's Gabriel talking here. And now I declare the truth to you. See, three more sovereigns arise in a Paras, and the fourth is to become far richer than them all. And by his power, through his riches, he steers up all against the rulership of Yavan or, or the Greece. And a mighty sovereign shall arise, and he shall rule with great authority and do as he pleases. That would be Alexander the Great. Um, and then it goes into what is going on, but uh, nope, I can't really find the other place with the no. Oh, here, oh, here, here is. Um, then I heard a sir. This is uh, Daniel eight. 13 Daniel 8 13 then I heard a certain Kodishi or holy one I think or something Kodishi I think it's holy one but I'm not speaking and another Kodishi another holy one said to that certain one who was speaking till when is the vision concerned that which is continual uh, concerning that which is continual and again if this continual is actually in regards to the sacrifices which it seems to be but I need some more studies on that. Uh, need some more reading on the book of uh, books of Moses to get more understanding of the sacrifices and all that. But as I understand it, the continual is like a continual in regards to the sacrifices in the temple, which which uh, was very important. And again, I can't remember if it, was, if it was the Greek battle or the Roman battle where the priest, you know, they had to stop the the things, the wall, in some sense, and let the sacrifice go into the temple, and then they continued to wall. Hey guys, stop! We have the sacrifice. You know they continue to sacrifice the the, the priest and all that. Continue the sacrifices in the temple and so forward. Um, but I can't remember if it was in regards to the Greek or the or the Romans. Um, anyway, that which is continual and transgression that lays waste. So we again have this transgression. And again, we have Jesus talking about it in the future. When you see this thing standing in the temple, 
I think he's exorcist is stand in the temple. So we have, and again, we have some history to verify what, again, what is meant by it in regards to the Book of Maccabees, for example. Of course, there we already have one of these things in regards of one of these pictures in some sense, uh, too. It seems like all these pictures are getting to help us what is going to come on in the future. Uh, let's see what Jesus says. Uh, uh, and also uh, a transgression that lays waste to make both the Kodesh place and the host to be trampled underfoot. Uh, apparently there was also a question mark. I'm not sure why that, that would be. Um, for he said to me, for 2,300 evening and mornings, then at which is Kodesh shall be made right. So that may be 1,150 or maybe, you know, that's two numbers here. It's like for 2,300 evening and morning you have evening yeah you know i'm not sure if that would then be 1150 days or but that would be closer to fitting with some of the numbers in the in the you know you have 1290 and 1335 i don't know i don't know but uh, maybe that could be something in regards of i don't know. anyway jesus told jesus and uh, the uh, Daniel, Daniel, abomination, abomi, abomination. Now, the, the Jews at that point when Jesus was around was uh, the abomination of desolation. Yep, there we go. Where is it in, uh, you know, they, they probably knew what he was talking about, you know, being so close to the things and people actually, um, you know, just being Jews helps a little, you know. Uh, it says it's like Matthew 24 let's go to Matthew 24 but anyway that was like three places in the book of Daniel where it talks about this uh, where it's the continual is taken away and the tra transgression that lays waste and as I understand the transgression that lays waste was from history an idol that was put up uh, I read I think I read different sources in regular, uh, an idol of who was it Jupiter or something like that that would I think I found two sources in being put up in the temple so if there is a future future transgression that lays waste you know you have to have a temple right so then there has to be a third temple and also in regards of taking away the the continual well if the continual is taken away there has to be sacrifices going on right so um so that's the thing, you know, uh, you don't think the Antichrist would try to make him absolute, uh, you know, he wants to be God, doesn't he? Doesn't, doesn't Antichrist want to be God? <laughs> Take the place, the Antichrist in the placement of God, um, or take the place of Christ, you know, um, on this earth. I think, you know, full of pride and all that, yeah, anyway, so that would make sense, I think, uh, let's see here, Matthew 24, now, this is much more interesting than reading that, that guy, you know, Chris and Storm, <laughs> but anyway, you can't, but the thing is, you can use the historical information to, uh, you know, the writings of the Christians to actually get some of the understanding from some of the things that uh, you might actually uh, have, you know, where they were just to the to the right leg for them in some sense because they were so so close to the source. And we are like two thousand years, um, but of course we still have to be careful of people not distorting the things because, like for example, this guy Christenstown, there seems to be a lot of weird things going on. You know, here we go. Here Jesus in Matthew, and this is the Matthew, so that would be the book that the Nazareans and the Ebonites uh, pretty much used. Uh, the Ebonites might have any had had an edited version, but overall, it uh, uh, the Nazarene seems to have you know kept to the primary of the Book of Matthew. Okay, so let's see let's see here. He talks about the future here. Uh, let's take it from a little more in regards of. Let's just take it from the. Okay, and we need to fix up the Mikdash. See what Mikdash actually is. I think it's something in regards to the temple, but. Uh, just to be set apart place sanctuary sanctuary okay so and going out uh, Yeshua went away from the Mikdash he went away from the sanctuary that must be the temple or something like that I would think 
I do wonder what they translated to in. Uh, uh, where do I have my? Where was the Danish version? Now, oh, there we go. I'll just take the Danish version here. Uh, let's see uh, to see how they translate. Uh, the thing is, uh, this this version, English version I have here, it takes some time to just use the Hebrew uh, words instead of, you know, and I'm not sure what they entirely, that's the thing, we just need to grow in the Bible, you know, and the more we know about the background and all that, the easier it is for us to read, and then it becomes just, the, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the norm for us. Uh, Jesus, uh went out from the temple it says here so the mikdash apparently is the temple um yeah so it's the temple that's uh, why would you and that's probably because they think temple is a pagan word and so forth but again we have a lot of pagan words so you know you can't really it's kid around that but maybe it was also in regards to copyright because i think they actually copyrighted this which is still really weird i think but anyway I don't think anything should be copyrighted, you know, that's just my way of, um, at least, you know, um, I like the, the idea that, okay, if someone uses it and fixes something or something like that, that you make it available, you know, that you are free to do whatever you want with it, but if you make a change, that other can use that change, like the programs out there and Linux is, is based on that way, I think, that, you know, it's free and it's available, but if you make a change, you should make that chains available you know if you make something you know that if you have a program and you think ah you know it would be nice with a feature like this to do this and all that that you know you're free to use the program you're free to, to actually make this feature but when you make the feature you make it available for for the rest you know that's i think that's a good good idea that's like it seems christian actually i think <laughs> it seems uh, christian you know to free to give and free to receive yeah, you know, free to receive and free to give, you know. So there are a lot of ways that I don't really like where you need to pay for things and all that. Anyway, um, so anyway, that's my problem, of course, you know. Uh, of course, it's better to buy things from, you know, Christian material based on truth than it is to buy all these fun games and whatever uh, that we use hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of of, of ours on and all that anyway and going out you uh, you uh, yeshua went away from the temple and his uh, disciples talmudim in hebrew came near uh, to point out to him the buildings why the buildings is it actually plural in the danish translation as well uh oh yeah okay so it's plural so that's buildings of the temple and Yeshua said to them, Do you not see all these? Truly I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another at all, which shall not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives, that's the mountain that is going to be splitting in the future, it's the mountain east of Jerusalem. So uh, um, anyway, the Talmudim came to him, or the disciples came to him separate, se separately, saying say to us when shall this be and what is the sign of your coming so they're asking say to us when shall this be in regards of the destruction of the temple i would guess you know um so that is the first question um you know say to us when shall this be you know when does uh, shall when shall the temple be destroyed and so forth i would guess that would what the first question is and that's the next question what is the sign of your coming so they want to know hey when are you coming you know all these prophecies of you you know coming and all that when 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 is that going to come and you know it's just just by reading it it should just be pretty clear because who is coming god is coming anyway uh what is the sign of your coming and of the end of the age so say to us when shall this be and what is the sign of your coming and of the end of the age so they actually have three questions here right one two three one two three questions actually giving him in one row you know so we have to account that if jesus is going to answer three questions you know we have to be aware where it actually is to which one question and all that Let's see. And Yeshua answered, uh, said to 
answering, said to them, Take heed, so that's the thing that he starts out, Take heed that no one leads you astray. That is a warning to us Christians, Take heed that no one leads you astray. We are so much, you know, so many Christians today are led astray. So this is a great warning from our master, Take heed that no one leads you astray. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the, the Messiah, and they shall lead many astray. Now, you can take it on two accounts. You know, you can take it as they will say, I am the Messiah. You know, that, you know, the people will come and say, hey, I'm the Messiah, you know, and lead people astray. Or it could also be uh, acknowledged that this is in regards, they will say, Jesus is the Messiah, and they lead, will lead many astray. Um, or it could be both. Uh, it could be a double thing in it because we have both in the world. We have people saying Jesus is the Messiah, yet leading people astray, and we also have people saying that they are actually that they are actually Jesus, <laughs> and they are leading people astray. So we have both actually, in some sense, being fulfilled. Uh, and this will probably only become worse as times goes on, as iniquity is you know growing and all that. So take heed that no one leads you astray, for many shall come in my name, in Jesus' name, uh, Yeshua's name, saying, I am the Messiah. Uh, again, it can be understood in two ways. And they shall lead many astray. And again, both of these people are leading, you know, both people saying Jesus is the Messiah, are leading people astray, and people thinking themselves to be the Messiah, Jesus, is leading people astray. You know, I've seen... I've seen at least two that I can remember on the fly. Uh, one, I think, is in Mexico, and he made the people fix six, the number 666 on themselves by tattoos. You know, how blind can you be? You know, I, I don't know, I understand this, you know, how people can be so blind. You know, 666, the number of the beast, you know, uh, it should be so obvious if they just read the Bible that something is terrible wrong, you know. Anyway, um, the number of the beast, you know, yeah, yeah. Anyway, and um, I think he actually says that this is my number or something like that, you know. So, so again, how obvious can, can it be that something is wrong? But he yeah, apparently believes he's Jesus. Then the other uh, group I saw, I think it was in Russia or something like that, where this spiritual guy think he's Jesus and all that and leading people astray. And of course, they had some icons of him or images of him as well. It's very sad to see how people are. I'm not sure if they were allowed to read the Bible, but if they're allowed to read the Bible, how can they be so blind? You know, if you read the Bible, you shouldn't be. Well, apparently, you know, Satan is a tricky fellow, you know. Maybe it's because we don't. You know, one thing, of course, make me take this a little more seriously is that I've been in the occult and I have experienced how deceptive these uh, demons are. So uh, maybe uh, maybe I'm just a little more on my toes than so many others. I'm not sure, but um, I know how sleek the deceptions can be, you know. So anyway, so this is the warning from our master. Don't take it from me. Take it from the master, you know, our teacher and our God. He's telling us, you know, he's starting out, you know, saying, you know, uh, you know, um, um take heed take heed that no one take heed that no one leads you astray he starts out with that for many shall come in my name saying i am the messiah and they shall lead many astray again again you can take it different you have different translations maybe maybe there are some some historical christian sources that shows how it how they understood it uh, in regards to the first and the second and uh, centuries and all that but as I can see it both ways even if it's one way or the other way is actually fulfilled fulfilled because we have both in the world um, we we have more of those that says Jesus is the Messiah and leading people astray of course but we still have the other ones as well and you shall begin to hear of fightings and reports of fightings is that the first question here, maybe? Oh, I don't know. And you shall begin to hear the fightings and reports of fightings. See that you are not troubled, for these have to take place, but the end is not yet. So again, is, it, is this in regards to the temple being destroyed? Or, because that's the first question, you know. 
but he's starting out saying, don't be, you know, don't be, uh, oh yeah, by the way, in regards of the medicine chest, you know, where, when they're talking about the Nazareans, they, he actually says that they were warned by Jesus to flee Jerusalem, you know, but they, he's calling them heretics, but Jesus is telling them to flee Jerusalem, according to him. So, <laughs> Jesus apparently didn't think they were heretics if they if he's tell his disciples in Jerusalem to flee Jerusalem uh, you know and 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 yet they they stamped them as heretics because they kept the law of Moses anyway and that you not trouble and that you are not trouble for these have to take place but the end is not yet so the question is from which and that that's the way we need to started the Bible to try to get the puzzle pieces but because you have a little here and a little there and a little you know every, you know you have some prophecies here and some prophecies there and you need to, to grow in understanding and so forward and and what understanding we have we can give to our children and they will have a better um, they will have a big better defense against Satan if we if we're just teaching us our children nothing you know just empty traditions and all this uh, bullshit you know, like Satan Claus and Christ Mass and Easter bunnies and Easter and Halloween and you know, gnomes and uh, and um, you know, tooth fairy and so forward. You know, and Sunday worship and all. You know, if we're going to continue that, we're not going to give them a lot of good tools so they can stand against these things, so they can see and have some. You know, anyway. So he says, For nation shall rise against nation, and reign against reign, and there shall be scarcities of food. Okay. I don't understand why these are actually... Uh, these. I thought they actually would be standard pencils, but they're actually writing green and and uh, different colors. I thought they would just be, col you know, black. I I've used these before. They are like to the mobile as well. You can see mobile tip and all that. Um, they're like, you know, a tree, tree square thing. Uh, uh, so they're really nice to hold on, and all that plastic is also pretty nice to hold on. These are the, uh, this is the black one I have. The thing is, these are very good in regards of the ink. The ink is just some, you know, it's just filled up for a long time. The problem is, they break on the tip, you know, in regards. So I can't use this, but they are very good pencils for writing but these colors you know this is a black one and this is apparently I thought this would be a black ink as well but it's not it's green or pink or whatever you know four colors in total the problem is this ink is just not as good as the black ink this black ink just just wonderful it doesn't stop you know uh, you know some of these pencils that you buy are just you know it's it's, it's just horrible you know they are just to throwing out you know um, this is like a, it, it's okay, you know, and you can, it's, it's, it, they're working pretty good. The, the tip actually seems to be better than the other one, if you use it for the mobile. But the ink itself, the ink thing, you know, is, is worse than the, and of course you can exchange, you can change these, uh, these uh, ink things and all that, but overall they don't last that long, it seems, you know. Um, you know, so this is like a middle, you know, one more in regards to these using for the mobile, but the ink itself is, yeah, it's just, they, they, it might be better in the tip in regards to the mobile because these things have a way of going, breaking at some point, but, uh, so I was, I was getting these and, uh, the tip seems to actually be made a little better maybe in regards of the the black ones so but the ink is just it's not that good as the others it's not bad but again i would have liked just the standard thing i just thought it was just you know different color you know not that it was different color color you know in the ink i thought it was the same black ink as the others and you know it wouldn't you know colors are nice you can easier sometimes find things when it's not black you know but anyway uh, but I'll use it of course and when it breaks it breaks and you know um, so but it's a little harder to uh, they're not as as uh, what do you call it it's color you know so 
anyway so back to the topic sorry that was just a little uh, but if I should buy anyone you know these are pretty good they're, they're not bad you know the metal thing and all that but they don't have the three square here and all that um, they are pretty good it doesn't seem to take some time before it actually breaks up here it seems to be more sturdy than these ones in regards of it but uh, these ones just have the better pencil you know to write this is just you know uh, and it runs out pretty you know it not quickly but 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 you know these are just continuing continuing and continuing with the ink uh, it seems to me and again the ink is it doesn't stop you know where on these and the other one I have this it's just it stops and you know one of the most annoying thing is if you're writing something and it just stops and you need to try to get it working again you know and this is just you know yeah uh, but you can you can buy extras for these um, you can just open it up and fix it and all that that's that's nice of course um, so there, there are some old models and new models the new models have like colors in the top of it it seems to again be a little better than the the old one because the old one was sticking more to the to the screen so that's one thing of course uh, because it has some uh, outer surface these uh, I'm not I think actually it I want to say pretty good but the new ones at least on these they actually have some surface area so it makes it easier for swiping on the on the screen this one just seems to have but anyway it just you know um, so it has the tree square where you can hold it like when in first class or something that, that we learned like holding on you know correctly on a pen and it just it's nice and the plastic is actually also nicer than the than the metal I think to hold on but again it's, it's small issues and all that but um, maybe it could be a little more rough in it but I don't know uh, they work great they work great just the tip and you cannot exchange it or anything sadly uh, there's just the tips that breaks I've had four of these but one of them I lost I never really got to use it that was my first one in Israel I lost it in Israel uh, anyway get getting sorry getting off topic uh, for nations shall rise against nations and rain against rain and there shall be scarcity of food and deadly disease and earthquakes in places um, so earthquake in places that seems maybe to be he's talking maybe in regards to the end so he's talking about first this is not yet the end in regards to these troubles in regards to fightings a report of fightings see that you are not troubled we shouldn't be troubled for all these things is going to happen for these have to take place okay so we are going to see a lot of conflict if this is still future but I'm not sure but he says but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and rain against rain and there shall be scarcities of food so food will be a problem apparently at some point um, doesn't sound good and deadly diseases though so there will be deadly diseases as well and earthquakes in places and some say that there's more and more earthquake coming as time goes I'm not sure about that but anyway uh, maybe they're just uh, better to registering them but what I, what do I know about that but anyway uh, maybe that right I'm not sure and all these are the beginning of birth pains so these are the beginning of the birth pains so as a woman you know the birth pain begins before you know so he's actually using in regards of a woman again <laughs> this analogy what do you call it this metaphor of woman again in regards of so of course when you live life and all that and you have a wife that has in regards of birth pain and all that you have the experience of it mm. anyway. then they shall deliver you up to affliction and kill you so of course we're already getting killed uh, in, in different countries not so much in the West because we had the background of Christianity but yet we have fallen a long way of course we had the World War two which is actually not that far away where a lot of things was going on but then they shall deliver you up and then of course we got into the un what do you know the European Union which goes back to 
Rome. Of course, the World War II seems to have gone back to Rome as well. But anyway, people don't know about these things as well. But anyway, uh, you know, Hitler was a good Catholic. So anyway, um, then they shall deliver you up. And the SS was based on the Jesuits' order in regards of structure. Oh, and of course, who helped the Nazis flee? You know, at the end of the World War Two, could it have been oh, uh, the Vatican, Rome? You know, letting them flee to Argentine, for example, where they the Jews got one of the high-ranking. Uh, uh, Nazis uh, captured him and set him on trial, which we have um, video of. Uh, but who knows how many actually got to flee from these red lines? And uh, some of it was also whether I think it was the Americans, right, that took on the. That's at least some stories in regards of NASA being based on German technology and uh, German scientists creating these things and all. Anyway, um. And then they shall deliver you up to affliction and kill you, and you shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. So all nations, that hasn't happened yet, has it? Uh, of course, you know, we have hatred and all that, but all nations doesn't hate us yet for Jesus Christ's name. And you shall be hated by all nations. You shall be hated by all nations for my name. Of course, we have had a lot of persecution, but again, do, do every, have all nations hated us yet in the world? Mm, I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm guessing that in the future when these things happen, we will not be, uh, we will not be uh, in doubt of which times we are in, you know. Well, just, oh yeah, that's what the Bible says. We should have been preparing for it, you know. And then many shall stumble. Yeah, we have to keep, you know, we're all afraid of dying, right? Oh, well, maybe not all, but, you know, we already, you know, some of us have fears, of course, and taught in regards of dying and all that. And we just have to stick close to, uh, to Jesus, you know. We have to not deny Jesus and just keep this valuable pearl close at hand. Um, but he says, then, and then many shall stumble and, oh, wasn't there something in Daniel as well in regards of, um, I can't remember, oh, maybe it's, I'm not sure. And then many shall stumble, and they shall deliver up one another. So, there will probably be a lot of persecution going on in regards of delivering, you know, people will hate Christians. You know, oh, they don't want to be part of our ecumenical movement. Burn them, you know. I don't know, but it's something like, you know, they would probably, uh, oh, they are just, you know, they are disturbers of the peace. We have to kill them all so we can have peace in this world or whatever, you know, whatever deception Satan is going to lure people into that follows him. And then many shall stumble and they shall deliver up one another. So we will be delivered up. Probably not the non-believers that, you know, there's probably the believers that will be de de delivered up by the non-believers. And, you know, those that follow Satan will deliver up the children of God uh, and shall hate one another. So we'll see a lot of hatred. And many false prophets shall rise up and lead many astray. So we have prophets speaking, maybe like in the, like, you know, saying, now may, maybe that will be, maybe that will be some difference because if they, uh, hating us because of our name maybe these false prophets are actually leading people in another direction than actually saying that Jesus is the Messiah maybe they're pointing to someone else maybe the Antichrist and leading the people astray to him instead of yeah maybe because if they're hating us because of his name it seems like false prophets probably wouldn't then stand for his name uh, at that point but that seems then, that would seem still to be, I don't know, I'm just trying the best that I can, you know. And many false prophets, and a prophet is like speaking, there was something, um, 11, 11, 11. Many false prophets shall uh, stand forward and, and you know, when we see uh, false prophets in the Old Testament, we see them leading people away to a false god, for example. Um, and that's, that's bad. We should, you know, um, so maybe at that, this point, many of these false prophets, you know, you have to have something, you know, you know, to 
get people to worship the Antichrist and his system and be part of it and all that, right? And because of the increased, again, if this is future, we have something, we have a problem here, Houston. Um, and why do we have a problem, Houston? Well, because, and because of the increase in lawlessness, if this is talking about future, why is it talking about the law? You know, the law has, hasn't the law been abolished? Isn't that the Christians are saying the law, the law has been abolished, you know? Are you talking about lawlessness? This is lawlessness. You know, Jesus took up the law on the on the tree, right? No, he took the sins of, you know, the transgressions of the law. But anyway, Jesus says, and because of the increase in lawlessness. So if this is future, we have a problem, Houston, because lawlessness, if he says that there's an increase in lawlessness, it seems like the law is still valid. Of course, so many other things points that the law is still valid in regards of the Antichrist or the horn of Daniel change, thinking to change times and laws. If he thinks to change times and laws, which he has done, you know, we said see that in history and so forward. But if he has done that, then the law is still valid, isn't it? So he goes on, the love of many shall become cold. Why is the love becoming cold? because of the increase in lawlessness. So the law, keeping the law has something to do with love. And by the way, the DDK book has something as well where you can actually see, uh, or you can take from Matthew and actually see some, um, yeah, use some, you know, use the information to get some more on the, yeah, you piece the puzzle together. It's just wonderful. Anyway, um, the love of many shall become cold. But he who shall have endured to the end shall be saved. So what is he saying? We have to endure, you know, keep a hold on the faith in regards of Jesus Christ. Keep a hold on it. Don't let Satan take it away. Don't let him make, you know, in regards of fear or, or you know, trying to deceive you in a way. And hold fast to the faith in Jesus Christ as the Son of God and God in flesh who died for the sins of the world. When his living bread was broken and his wine poured out for the sins of the world, keep fast to that. Don't let anyone take it and don't fear the devil or his minions and so forward. Fear God more than him. Anyway, and this good news of the reign, so this good news of the kingdom, I, I think a kingdom is, is, I think the translations here like the reign, you know, that doesn't really make it, uh, it's a kingdom. I think that King James actually also say kingdom. And that's just, the, the Danish translation is just also because you miss it. You miss the word. You miss the, 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 the you know, the, the things in regards to the word where the King James in, in regards to that is just, you know, I think it's kingdom. Let's see. Matthew, what was it? Matthew 24. You just miss the whole, because... The kingdom has a king, right? Who is the king? That's Jesus, right? Jesus said, you know, my kingdom is not of this earth. Jesus is the king. He's the Jewish king. Well, actually, he is the king of kings. He's the king over the whole world when he comes back, so, you know, and sets up the kingdom. Anyway, yeah. And this gospel, in regards to the King James, of the kingdom. You see, that it's just the word kingdom just have so much more weight then reign, and the same thing in the in the Danish translation. You just miss it when you just read. You just they have this. Um, uh, now, let's see here. Uh, I see twenty four. What? Uh, twenty four twelve. Uh, now we go see here. Um, yeah, they they translate it as realm as well in some sense. You know, realm. Uh, was it in realm or something like that? Uh, no rain. They have rain here in this translation, and in regards to the Danish, it's like the yeah, the realm, the realm of rain. Yeah, I, it's it's just only only five letters in Danish. It's not the kingdom. They don't use the kingdom here. I think I think kingdom would be a wonderful word to put in there. You know instead of using because you miss you miss it you miss it you just read over it you know you just miss 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 where like a k 
kingdom, you know, kingdom, you know. That's that's a more powerful word in regards of understanding. Now, of course, you could of course go back and see what the original text says. What what would be, uh, but I think kingdom would be at least that's that's it gives more weight on it. So I like the King James version that what they did in, in regards of that for sure. Uh, but again, of course, you know you of course have to look at the original uh, Greek and Aramaic and so forth and see if if it's if it's dishonest in any way but uh, you know it doesn't seem to be because king dom he is a king right a king has a kingdom a kingdom has rules has laws and it has a king it didn't it make you know it fixed together you know a king has a kingdom a kingdom has rules and laws to abide by you know and a king that makes these laws and so forward and that would be jesus right so it just makes sense all the things of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jehovah, the kingdom of Jesus. Um, so again, just putting in rain seems to me to just devalue the things and the understanding uh, of the things. Anyway, just my view on it. Anyway, and maybe they're doing it on purpose. This version has also taken out First John 5, 7. And as I understand it, they actually... Uh, no, no, that's the scriptures version, but I think also these, I think all, I, I, if I remember correctly, it's not in this version either. And I could, of course, write to them and say, why is that not in there? And give them all the information I have on it. But of course, they might actually already have made up their mind. I don't know. But uh, again, there may, might be an agenda behind it. But the scriptures in this version, I think, are you know, pretty, pretty good translation you know some of very good and translations i think but they just still have issues you know um there's still issues where i'm like i'm not satisfied so what would make me satisfied well maybe my maybe making my own translation you know trying to get it as close as i can and not taking things out that doesn't seem to actually uh, i think it's dishonest if if you if if Greek people that that read Greek can see there's a problem here when you take it out, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, then then the scholars are dishonest, you know. And that's let's see five one seven yeah, it just says because there are three who bear witness the ruach you know the spirit and the water and the blood and that's all, and the three are in agreement, but it does it misses the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit or the Son. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. Um, because they took it out. And as I understand it, the scripture version took it out as well. But again, I could write to them also in regards to the, still in regards to the first day. I'm not sure if this hallelujah scripture in regards of the first day. Now it says, says day one, you know. Uh, let's see how it translates the second and the third day. If it, no, they actually... Yeah, the second day, yeah. So they say the second day, um, the fourth day, the fifth day, but not the first day, day one. It's just dishonest. Why is that dishonest? Look in the Hebrew, you know. The Hebrew ends just the same as the other places, but the other five places, they get it right. But the first day, nope, they change, they, they, not, they are inconsistent with what they translate. The first day, day one. And then the five other places they translated it uh, in, uh, consistently. What, you know, uh, the way that I think what is more honest, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, but day one is day one. It's not the first day, it's just day one. I think it's, you know, if you're going to say this is the second day, this is the third day, this is the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, why would you not be consistent and do it with the same with the first day? Oh, I just, I just something is wrong here. You know, people.